Welcome back, everybody, to our Minecraft Let's Play. We really got to take care of this food situation in our world. <laughs> we don't have a consistent source aside from me just fishing every now and again. But that's something we can worry about another day because we, of course, have a lot of stuff to do today. So let's go ahead and take a look at our book and see exactly what we're going to do. So we today are going to make a Christmas tree because, well, Christmas is coming up and I, of course, forgot to put up a Christmas tree. And secondly, we're going to work on a banner room. Now, I am super excited about this banner room because I've been planning it out and I think I have a really good idea for what it's going to look like. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to do some work first. So what I want to do to, of course, start with the Christmas tree is put our Halloween decorations away. So I picked up our jack-o'-lanterns, which were sitting, you know, down here. And that was all we really put up for this year. So what I want to do is actually toss them up in our attic. And then we can go ahead and put them out for next year. So we'll always have Halloween decorations, which means we're going to have to put some kind of flooring in here. It might be temporary, but we can at least put some storage up there. So, you know, let's go ahead and let's do that right now. All right, so let's go ahead and plop down a chest and we'll be able to, you know, go ahead and open it. And we'll just go ahead and toss those in there and... Well, that takes care of our Halloween decorations. <laughs> I guess there's not a lot to put away when you don't decorate a lot. So we're going to have to do something with this room eventually. And this is going to be like our album room. And then we can, you know, make actual access into the attic. But for now, we'll just kind of have to do it like this and play it by ear. So where do we want to put our Christmas tree? So what I'm thinking is right over here. Because we already have all these pine trees that I've been growing. And it's already ready to, you know, it already has the brown soil, the podzel. So let's just go ahead and put it there, and then that way we can actually put some gifts and everything there too. And I think it'll look really cool. And what we can do is actually make gifts for our animals in our world that we have named. Now, I did just pick this up, so this doesn't have a name yet. So if you guys are down there and want to suggest a name for the skeleton horse, feel free. But of course, with our cats, we have, if I can find him real quick, Danny Ocean. And then we have our dogs up here. And we do have two named dogs, which are L-Dog and J-Dog. And then we have our horse, which is Zipper. So I think we can go ahead and put out like four presents for them. And, you know, underneath the Christmas tree, we'll open them on Christmas. So let's knock this tree down and we'll use this to build our Christmas tree. You know what actually might be better is if we actually built it in our house you know just in case it's like snowing on Christmas when we open our gifts <laughs> so let's actually build this thing inside I think that's you know a better idea and more realistic because I mean who wants to open Christmas gifts in the snow that'd be horrible so let's just move it right in here we'll put it above our storage room the room we kind of don't have a purpose for anything yet and we can just center it right here. I think that'll be the best bet. So let's go ahead and actually get a tree down. So I guess we're gonna have to make it a little bit smaller because, you know, it's in the house. Uh, say like there. I think there's a good size. And then what we'll do is just kind of build these up like stairs. So I'll have to bring this one out. And then, you know, we'll just keep adjusting as we go. So we'll go like that. So then obviously this has to go out here and I'll work these up and we'll see what our tree looks like hmm you know what I think that's a pretty good looking Christmas tree not bad at least for my first ever attempt at a Christmas tree now there's only one issue and that's actually getting back into my storage room so hopefully I can do this in which I can so what are we gonna decorate this tree with well we can use some of course glass we'll have to make some glass we can do glass panes colored glass panes to hang off of there we can use candles different colored candles i think those will look nice and then we can use ornaments like you know diamonds and gold and you know i would say silver which is iron so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that stuff and then what are we gonna put on top hmm i don't know what we could put on top do we have anything like special maybe we could do the dragon head on top i think that might look cool something different at least all right, let's gather some resources and see what uh, happens. All right, guys, I've gone ahead and gathered up some materials for us to decorate the tree. And also, I hope you guys noticed that my audio is slightly better. I didn't notice that I was, like, 
thumping my stand and it was kind of coming through so hopefully that'll be fixed from now on I had to move my microphone and hopefully I'm actually a little bit louder because I noticed I'm like really far away when I talk to you guys and I'm actually not the microphone is actually right in front of my face so <laughs> but yeah let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and toss in of course all our diamonds and emeralds and our silver and gold and you know what let's do silver and gold on this side so we'll do silver and then gold right there so we have a whole bunch of candles and we also have a whole bunch of glass panes so I think with the candles we'll just kind of set them like oh you gotta be kidding me okay so I'm gonna take out these blocks then replace them and then put candles there oh, I don't know why they just don't let us do that okay we'll do it this way we'll do something like this we'll outsmart minecraft maybe or maybe we'll, minecraft will outsmart us so we'll go like that and then can I set a candle on top of that? Oh, I can. Okay, so we'll do something like that then. All right, so I think that looks really kind of cool. Definitely bright and festive. And of course, we have to put, you know, our top piece on our dragon head. So let's go ahead and hop up here. This is definitely where we need uh, bumbles from Rudolph, but we'll have to do it ourselves, I guess. All right. That is officially cool. So I'm going to go ahead and later on I'm going to put some presents under here because I want them to be a surprise for you guys too. And we'll probably end up making shorts out of them so we can, you know, see what all of the pets around here got. So I'm going to call that Christmas tree pretty well complete aside from the fact that I forgot to write... Okay, I did light that candle evidently. That's why candles are weird in this game, but... <laughs> so... I guess now we have to get started on our banner room, which, like I said, I am super excited for. I just got to move all these cats. This is way too many cats. So I guess the first thing that we should do is probably gather up some supplies for our, you know, banner room that we're making. So, I, like I said, I've already planned this out, surprisingly. I know we're two for two now. I didn't plan out the tree, though, so... You guys are going to have to forgive me for that one. But I did pick out a really cool color palette for this one. And I actually did use the website, uh, what is it, Keller Palette or something like that, or MinecraftPalette.com or something along those lines. But yeah, definitely a pretty helpful website if you guys have never been there. So I guess the first thing we're going to want to do is get the floor in. Now, of course, you know, we're going to do an interior wall kind of like we did here. So it's going to be a different color than the, you know, plain stone. So I'm thinking for the floor, it's pretty much going to be from here. And we're going to have stuff over here. So basically, this is going to be the general size of our floor. So I'm going to get this all filled in with. Oh, yeah, let's go there. And like there so I'll get this all filled in with the black concrete powder and that's actually the first color that we're gonna need all right so this is our floor <laughs> like I said pretty plain like I said we're not we're not going crazy yet but we are going to have a lot of color in this room so next up we're gonna do the majority of the walls in purple concrete yeah, purple concrete something I don't think I have ever used in my whole entire life so I do it maybe a different way than the rest of you guys maybe you guys do it the same way as me but i basically build up a tower on two sides rather than all four sides so i like to build up like this rather than completing the whole entire circle and i think it actually works a little bit faster only because you're not looking at all four sides plus you can mine it down faster so we'll just build all this up and then when we get to the top we'll dump a bucket of water down and we'll have all the concrete So now we gotta start laying in our walls, of course. So these are going to be probably four or five high. I don't really see a reason to make them, you know, any other height. Actually, you know what, to save blocks, we can just go ahead and completely skip this layer and nobody will ever know it's there. We'll just go like this. Well, we'll actually put the right block there though because that's the most important thing. And we'll go ahead and get the rest of the room in. All right, so here is our very, very, very purple room. <laughs> so like I said, right now it's kind of shocking to the eye. You got to give it kind of a couple seconds here. So what we're going to do instead of putting our trim now at the bottom, like we did almost like a baseboard, now we're actually going to put it up top. So we are actually going to use crying obsidian for this. 
And yeah, I know it's kind of odd to use Crying Obsidian, something we haven't actually ever used yet, but it actually looks really, really, really cool. And then with the design we have for the ceiling, I think it's going to look even better. So I'm going to go ahead and tack this stuff up there now. So that is, of course, you know, the trim on the outside. We're going to need a couple more, but you know, that's not a big deal. We can go ahead and grab those at any time. So the next thing we actually need is ports because that is going to be the ceiling in here. So it'll basically be a dark to light transition. And I find in building that's typically the safest bet because, oh, but okay, there's llamas down here, but you typically want your uh, ceiling to be lighter than your floor. And that just makes the room feel brighter. So we are actually gonna have to go buy some quartz because we do not have any. So time to head over to the trading hall. And if there's anybody at home happening to wonder why we haven't been working on the villager trading hall, you know, we got like this far into it and then we just kind of stopped. Well, there's actually a bug right now where villagers just don't go in minecarts or boats. So you can't really transport them anywhere. And if we can't transport them, then, you know, obviously we can't do this because they are way over there. So we're going to have to put that... Really? Ah... My zombie despawned again. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy as much quartz as I can from these guys. And I guess we'll have to go find ourselves a new zombie eventually. Well, that's nice, quick, and easy. Better than going to the nether at least, so you don't have to go, you know, mine quartz. You can just go buy quartz. And we actually had some sitting there, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take it because, well, I mean, it's my quartz, so why not? So <laughs> what we're gonna do for this, and actually this is gonna save me. Ooh, that looks really cool from over here. Check that out. I mean, I know it's just kind of a blob right now, but <laughs> that's our blob. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do for this is whoa, whoa, we're actually going to use this in kind of like a slab uh, full block. And we can actually get back some of our obsidian. So what I mean by that is it's going to be like almost a design on the outside of the roof. So I'm going to need a stone cutter real quick. So I can just go ahead and grab this. And, you know... <clears throat> Get out of here. Okay. Your llama's in here. I'm going to take your lead. Bah. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be smart about this. I'm not going to make that many to start. So what we're going to do is this here will be a slab, and then that'll be a block, and then that'll be a block. And you kind of see how it makes this pattern along the trim. And I think that'll be pretty cool to kind of stick out every now and again. Well, I just went and checked in my testing world and turns out I actually messed up the design in here. So instead of going the slab and then the full block directly under it, the slab is actually the bottom layer and then there's a block above it. So I kind of messed up a little bit, not that big of a deal. So I just gotta go ahead and put these slabs back in and then we start our ceiling on the next layer. So that is where I was slightly off. So we can go ahead and actually take this block back and then we'll just make our ceiling from here. All right, so as you guys can see with this like little, I don't know, detail, I guess we can call it on the corner, it kind of just gives that room that extra little, you know, eye-catching appeal because right now it's kind of plain. So uh, what we want to do is on this wall here, we're actually going to put some redstone in and we are going to make some flower machines. That's why I kind of left this big space back here. So with this being a banner room, we're gonna need different kinds of dye. So obviously, you know, we're gonna need the sunflower, the peony, the rose, and oh, there's one more, but we're gonna need all four of those. So we're gonna go ahead and knock this out. And then in here is where these are all gonna go. And then on this side over here, I'm just gonna put a little pasture of dirt in which I know sounds weird but in Minecraft bedrock you can duplicate regular flowers just by bone milling them on dirt so that'll give us literally every dye except for black because black is the most annoying dye in this game to make because it only comes from squid which it really should come from coal and water you would think so first off let's go ahead and get these machines in and I think what we're going to do for these is they're all going to be run by a master switch. So, you know, I got a little room back here for redstone. So one switch is going to turn on all four of these machines. 
I swear guys, this video is just not going my way. So I just recorded how to put all this redstone in and of course it didn't actually record. So what it we did here is, it's a pretty simple setup. So this lever here controls this sticky piston. So this sticky piston pushes this observer into this observer and makes a clock. And then the redstone just runs to all the dispensers. And of course we can duplicate two high flowers. And then over here, we went ahead and put this dirt patch in because in bedrock, if you have a one tall flower, it doesn't matter which one, you can duplicate them by simply just bone mealing them. So we can do all that. So that will give us access to all of the dyes in the game. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in a simple storage system just like this. And then what we're gonna do is toss in this door on the wrong side of the block. Okay, so we'll do that. And we'll do that. And then we can go ahead and toss a trap door on top of that. And that'll go like that. And that will make a nice little closet for our dies to go into. And then, I mean, if we wanted to, we could even put a front door onto it. But I think that'll work for now. Just something quick and easy. And then, of course, our loom can go right here and then we'll just toss a chest next to it just in case we have any patterns or anything that are not in the loom so yeah i mean this pretty much takes care of the room the only thing we need to do is of course get rid of all this torch spam because we don't do that um, what i might do is these are actually full blocks so we can hang lanterns from them. and i think the blue lanterns would actually work best the soul lanterns and i do believe we have quite a few of those left uh, if we come right in here, yes, we do. So let's grab some of these and actually just in case we need them, we'll grab some chains. Maybe we want to have them hang down a little bit more. So let's check this out. Let's see what happens here. So if I just put say like one there, or do we want them like there? I actually think, you know what? Let's do something completely different than we've ever done before. Let's do something like this. So that's like the main walking ones. And then we can go ahead and pepper these ones in sporadically. And I think I think that'll look pretty cool. And then I'm just going to go ahead and toss that in there. We'll toss that in there. And we can toss that on there. And that on there. And theoretically this should be enough light. I think. Oh, only one way to find out, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I guess the best way to end this episode would actually be by making some banners because, well, we just made a whole banner room. So what I actually want to do is put two banners here to kind of let you know that, hey, you're going into our armory. So I have two black banners already to go. And for this, we're going to need a lot of black and yellow. So it's basically going to be a sword banner. And of course, this is on none other than Pinterest. Well, frankly, I like that how it turns out. So we have ourselves our two swords. So if we just go ahead and clean these up, they both go in my inventory. And we're gonna put these, of course, over here. So we know we're, you know, going into the armory. So I'm thinking I want them up here, I think is the best. Yeah, because then that way I can see them. And then as we come in, you know, we can walk right in here and hey, we know we're in the armory. So we'll have to go ahead and craft up some potion ones and, you know, we'll know we're going into the potion, you know, area. But yeah, simple little things like this kind of make your base look a little better because this room, you know, is very, very, very plain. But those help a lot. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with what we got today, done today at least. You know, we did get this room done. We got our Christmas tree put up. And like I said, I'm going to put presents under it, but they're going to be a surprise for you guys at least. So in this room here, in terms of things we need to finish, I actually just might want to put a window in, maybe something here. And maybe I want to continue a design over this. That I'm not sure of. So if you guys think we should continue something over here, just kind of like an arch, let me know. I'll let you guys decide that, but I think that's pretty cool. And then over here, I want to do that with an end rod on top, kind of like a lamp, but we don't have any end rods. So for now, that'll work. So I like how this room turned out. It's, you know, definitely different. And 
pretty bright and colorful, but it's also kind of dark too, which I think is actually really cool. Hopefully no mob spawn, but hey, only one way to find out. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you leave a comment, and as always, make sure you subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.